morning, <coughs> everybody. I'm here as mayor of, of the city of Milan. But first of all, uh, let me tell you that um, watching the, the video in the beginning uh, and listening uh, the bulkhead of uh, words, I believe that uh, we are risking to push, to, uh, to, to, to lose the push in uh, fighting uh, against poverty and uh, food nutrition. So, first of all, um, let me tell um, thank you to women like uh, Gunilda, who is not giving up. Um, I'm here as mayor of the city of Milan, but uh, I'm happy, I'm also happy, to contribute to the perspective of 142 cities of the Milan Urban Food Policy Pact. And finally, with my colleague, I'm uh, here to represent the C40 network of cities. And they work to create better and more sustainable food system to take climate change while improving the health and the well-being of their citizens. So on all uh, those capacity, I'm here to say we play our part and we play it loud. Now, more than ever, and after the recent uh, US federal government's decision to withdraw from the Paris Agreement, we stand united to demonstrate to the world what cities can and will do to achieve much needed results. And I want to express my solidarity with the North American mayors to reaffirm our shared commitment to deliver the objective of the Paris Agreement. And what I'm seeing now is that the mayor in the world feel the responsibility to stay on the way when the government sometimes are managed by populists who are asking us to lose the way. Uh, amongst uh, all the climate action, cities are implementing the creation of sustainable food system might be the most impactful in the day-to-day -day of our fellow citizens. If we, if we continue to manage the food system under a business-as-usual approach, the food sector is very likely to become the main contributor of global greenhouse gas emission within 20 years. And plus, and my colleague told you, told, told you, in the next 40 years, the number of people living in urban areas will exceed six, six billions, which is more than two-thirds of the world population. This means that cities will play an increasingly leading political and economic role, and the challenges ahead are complex. And to overcome them, cities will have to adopt a co-benefit approach, ensure the right to healthy nutrition to all people, without, but without jeopardizing the future of the planet. Cities and citizens have the power to shape the demand of food by shifting uh, diets and public purchasing uh, policies toward greener and healthier paths. And many cities around the world are working to implement projects that raise awareness on dietary footprint, foster the consumption of fresh and healthier products, reduce food waste and improve food logistics, change public procurement and support urban agriculture. And today, there are 20 C40 cities in the audience, and many of them have also joined the Milan Urban Food Policy Pact. And let me say that these cities are doing incredible things, sometimes in really complex environment, with really small resources and minor visibility. They are building a food system strategy that involves rural areas, literally redesigning the governance of local food system. They are writing new zoning laws to allow more urban agriculture inside the city. They are using 
tenders strategically to boost the local food economy and improve the availability of fresh and unprocessed food, and they are creating complex coalition to fight food waste and recover surpluses. It is uh, indeed uh, meaningful to discuss the role of the city in the creation of better, healthier, more sustainable food system. But in order to do so, I can only begin by the experience of my city, by the experience of Milan. In Milan, we realized that uh, in food and nutrition, we had an area of particular interest. Why? Because from the richness of our peri-urban uh, agricultural areas and uh, its vital linkage to the city, to our experience in managing waste and reducing food losses, losses, to our experience in bringing food to a huge number of citizens, from infants, in nurseries, to school children, to the elderly, we were driven to meaningful scale up our investment in the food system. It is a work in progress, of course, but we have made it a priority for my administration. And the experience of hosting the World Expo on Feeding the Planet in 2015, 21 million visitors in Milan, was certainly a catalyst of initiatives, international exposure, and meaningful activities. It helped us better focus our efforts. It made us realize that we had an immaterial legacy we could offer to the world, and that Milan had a role to play. Now, the Milan Urban Food Policy Pact was uh, born out of the desire to share the outcomes and practices collected in our city experience and through the ESPO. For the first time, food system challenges and proposed solutions were scaled at the city level, and we considered the city level a fundamental level. This created a paradigm shift that enriches the global dialogue. And the global players on food system began realizing the role of the city and are now fully engaged in exploiting cities' potential in tackling those issues. We are also working with FAO and other global network for cities to develop a repository of good practice and food policies of the city. And we intend to capitalize on this knowledge to foster exchange and action. The fact that Milan strongly believes in city-to-city -city cooperation was an important ingredient in the process that brought the pact to life. Here comes the participation in C40 network and other dialogue outlets that make it possible to advance the quality of life of citizens. So, to take stocks of the result we have reached so far, I would say, first, a network of like-minded cities that are working towards better food system, and those cities are helping each other in doing so, providing that, yes, it is, this is a challenge we can take together, contributing to a better quality of life for our citizens. Second, a significant collection of good practices and concrete actions that are relevant for cities across continents and cultures. Third, a platform for dialogue between cities and their challenges and experiences, as well as sharing of practices. And fourth, and particularly relevant, the city level is now steadily on the map. Existing city networks are introduced, food system as working area. We are all moving to the very same direction and we are driven by the same desire, helping our growing cities to offer a fairy and friendly setting for the lives 
of our citizen. Now, going back uh, to Milan and um, concluding, where do we want to go next? First and foremost, we want to get our food policy right. This is why we participate, exchange, play our part. We want to better our knowledge and establish a stronger policy in our city. And this contributes to a wider goal. In my vision, in my personal vision, by the end of my mandate, Milan shall be pinned on the world map of sustainable food capitals with a leading role. And second, we want to strengthen the Milan Urban Food Policy Pact. The pact is still uh, in its infancy. It, need, uh, it needs uh, to develop stronger legs to break bolder steps. For doing so, it needs uh, to help for many stakeholders that can contribute to its advancement, at the same time benefit from its contents and membership. I urge all interested cities to come forward and look at the pact as a way to focus their effort in improving their food system and the life of their citizens. And finally, yet important, we want to work with all of you to keep on fostering collaboration and supporting the global effort on those themes. Global challenges require concerted local actions and cities have the power to take the lead in changing the future of food. Let's do it. Thank you.